The first capital of Brazil was Salvador, between 1549 and 1763, and then Rio de Janeiro, from 1763 to 1960. Soon after, Curitiba was named the capital of Brazil for only three days, from March 24th to 27th, 1969. Now, let's understand why Brasilia became the capital of Brazil. The then president, Juscelino Kubitschek, decided to move the Brazilian capital to the central west region for several reasons. However, the idea of relocating the capital to the center of the country was first documented in 1891. Juscelino Kubitschek had one of the most ambitious mottos of all time, 50 in 5. With this motto, the president aimed to make Brazil grow 50 years in just five. To achieve this, he initiated massive projects, including the construction of roads, the establishment of car and appliance factories, and substantial investments in electric power. Lucio Costa was responsible for designing the map of Brasilia, known as the Plano Piloto, and the city was envisioned in the shape of an airplane. It was intended to house the legislative power of the country. To construct buildings as ambitious as his plans, Juscelino Kubitschek enlisted Oscar Niemeyer, a great genius of architecture, renowned worldwide. Niemeyer has works in the United States, Spain, and France, among various other special places where his distinctive buildings attract attention locally. On April 21st, 1960, Brasilia was ready, a city like no other, completely planned and prepared to be one of the most strategic locations in the world. Unfortunately, the majority of Brazilians hardly know the reason why Brasilia is where it is and why it holds such a strategic position. Several research studies were conducted with experts from the Army, Air Force, and Navy to choose the location. The aim was to find a point that was secure in every possible way. Thanks to this strategy, Brasilia was placed in the center of the Brazilian territory, making it, from a military perspective, one of the safest cities in the world. Within the ambitious plan for the construction of Brasilia, there was also the objective of bringing development to the central west region of Goiás. Several facilitating transport roads were established during that time so that the central west region could distribute its enormous agricultural production throughout Brazil more efficiently. To make this planet city intended to be the world's most strategic federal district even more fascinating, Oscar Niemeyer created some of his most incredible works. National Museum on Estaino Guimarão with a surrealistic tone, this masterpiece is a half-sphere with a massive access ramp, featuring a completely minimalist design. At night, reflected in the water, the museum becomes almost a perfect sphere. Digital TV Tower Equivalent to a 62-story building, this enormous tower features large glass-covered halls that serve as exhibition spaces. JK Memorial Built to honor the president, the site also houses the chamber where the remains of Juscelino Kubitschek rest. In addition, it showcases items, photos, and memories of the former president. National Theater This is the modern pyramid designed by Niemeyer, and it stands as one of the largest constructions he has ever undertaken. Metropolitan Cathedral One of the most striking and dazzling works in Brasilia. This was the first monument in Brasilia, and was created to symbolize the crown of thorns of Jesus. Supreme Federal Court With modern and innovative architecture, a rectangular building with various details and sets in glass, creating true visual illusions. Planalto Palace This is the official office of the president and features beautiful complex architecture with a wide access ramp. National Congress Perhaps the most famous national work in the world, second only to the Christ the Redeemer statue in Rio de Janeiro. It consists of two towers and two domes, one concave and the other convex, serving as the center of the three powers of Brazil. With the water mirror, which became the trademark of these works, the towers form a unique and fascinating design. Brasilia is over 1,000 kilometers away from any port or national border. Brasilia is strategic because it is over 1,000 kilometers away from the ports in the north, more than 1,000 kilometers from the borders of Bolivia and Paraguay to the west, over 1,000 kilometers from the ports of Sao Paulo and Rio de Janeiro to the south, and over 1,000 kilometers away from the ports of Bahia, Alagoas, and Pernambuco to the east. From the perspective of maritime attacks, it would be impossible for any nation to invade Brazil and seize its power. Over the 1,000 km stretch of land to Brasilia, they would be defeated due to the poor strategic positioning of the troops, making any assault entirely unsuccessful. 
But that is not the only reason for Brasilia to be in the center of Brazil. In fact, this positioning is even more strategic than any other place in the national territory. This is because the entire air traffic system of the country is monitored, and countries with their national capitals too close to borders or ports have a vulnerability. Air attacks. Thanks to Brasilia's positioning, any aircraft would need to travel over 1,000 kilometers within the national territory to reach it. This would provide ample time to detect such a strange aircraft in our territory and take some action before it reaches Brasilia. This positioning was also utilized in Australia with an American base called Pine Gap. The issue in Australia is that its geographical center is in the middle of the desert. However, this didn't prevent the American and Australian governments from coming together to build the most strategic military base in the world. There is a video on the channel specifically about this base. The link to it is now in the card and in the description. Check it out next. Another advantage of Brasilia is complete access to the entire national territory. Since Brasilia is located in the center of the country, this becomes the only feasible position to be approximately equidistant from all states. From north to south of Brazil, Brasilia is precisely situated in the center. Therefore, if the capital were too far north or too far south, some states would be more challenging for the country's leaders to access. By centralizing their activities, they also democratized the distance between the ruler and the various states. During the construction period, some politicians were entirely against this plan. After its initiation, Brasilia gathered around 60,000 workers from different parts of Brazil. However, the project, in the end, was more ambitious than we could actually afford. As a result, while there were still six months left before the completion of the construction, the funds allocated for building Brasilia ran out. The Brazilian government attempted to secure loans and printed more money than planned by economists. These actions significantly increased inflation and the cost of living exponentially. By its completion, Brasilia cost over $45 billion. In the following years, the Brazilian population felt the impact of these expenditures, suffering from high economic fluctuations and various political issues. On February 27, 1994, the real plan was implemented, improving the quality of life for many people and reducing the almost unstoppable inflationary impact. Today, Brasilia is still admired for its unique architecture being a city without corners. The capital was designated a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1987. Brasilia has the largest designated area in the world, 112.5 square kilometers. A landmark in modern architecture and urban planning, the capital was the first contemporary ensemble to receive such recognition. The city park is considered one of the largest urban parks globally, surpassing even Central Park in New York in terms of area. In addition to its strategic positioning and incredible works of art, Brasilia also boasts an immense artificial lake. Lake Paranoa is an artificial reservoir created by a dam on the Paranoa River. It features a famous bridge, the Juscelino Kubitschek Bridge. Moreover, Brasilia is home to the largest hoisted flag in the world. At the Palacio dos Tres Poderes, the largest national flag in the world is hoisted, officially registered in the Guinness Book. It covers an impressive 386 square meters, and is positioned more than 100 meters high. Through the combination of all these factors, Brasilia stands as the most ambitious Brazilian project in history and serves as the foundation for the most strategic and secure national republic in the world. When it comes to military strategy and positioning, Brasilia is undoubtedly the best choice ever made. For staying informed and receiving new videos, subscribing to the Econosimple channel is undoubtedly the best choice.